welcome back to my channel. So today I have a one brand full face makeup tutorial and that brand is Hourglass. So Hourglass is probably one of my most favorite makeup brands. It's on the pricey side but every single product I've ever tried from them is super luxurious and just so fun and so perfect and I haven't tried anything bad at all from Hourglass. So I know I talk about it a lot here on my channel and I figured I would just show you guys how it works. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to use the Mineral Primer Veal. This is oil free. This primer, there's something about it, it is just the best primer ever. So you only need one pump. One pump goes a long way. So I just like to pat it on the areas of my face that get super oily right here around my nose, my forehead, and then since I don't have an hourglass eye primer, I'm also going to put just a tiny bit on my eyelids. Okay, next up for foundation, I'm going to use the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. Um, this is a liquid to powder foundation. I guess that's in the title of the foundation, <laughs> but this can be very tricky. I love this foundation. It's beautiful. It looks so amazing when it's finished, but it can be very tricky to apply. It comes with a pump, but mine is almost gone, so I'm going to take the top off and just like pump it or dump it into my hand. So as with most foundations, you really don't need a whole lot of this product. And I like to work as quickly as possible because again, I don't like it to dry because it gets kind of cakey looking. Also, if you're going to use an under eye concealer, I recommend doing that underneath of this, not on top of it, because that's another thing that can make it look a little bit on the cakey side if you're not careful. So this foundation alone leaves a beautiful finish. It's like a powdery, smooth, like rose petal finish. It is so pretty. And it's awesome for oily skin girls because it keeps your skin super matte all day long. I love it. But if you feel like you need to set it, which I'll set it today just to be on the safe side, then you can use one of the Hourglass, uh, what are these called? Ambient Lighting Powders. So this is the palette. I do have one individual of these, but I tend to lean more towards the palette because there's three in here. So the one that works really well for setting your foundation is this first one right here called Dim Light. I'm going to go in with a Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush and just set the area underneath my eyes. Um, I didn't use an under eye concealer because the foundation alone is such good coverage, but that still will crease on me. So I'm just gonna set that area a little bit. Okay, now let's move on to brows. And this is probably by far my most favorite hourglass product. Uh, no, maybe the blushes are, uh, I don't know, it's so hard to pick, but this is one of my favorites. So their brow pencil has two sides to it. There's a spoolie side and then the roll up pencil side. Now the unique thing about Hourglass eyebrow pencils is they're kind of triangular in shape, if you can see there, which makes it foolproof for people like me who are not good at doing their brows. It just makes it so quick and so easy to fill in your brows. So what I like to do is just lightly outline my brows and then fill it in with the pencil and then brush it through with a spoolie to kind of evenly distribute the brow color. You can see my brows are so light, they're almost, they're almost transparent because um, they're so light. So I definitely need to kind of fill in those sparse areas that either don't have hair there or like very light colored hair. Okay, next up is eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using one of Hourglass's newer products. I think these came out in January, I think. Um, but this is the Modernist Eyeshadow Palette in the color Infinity. This is just the most neutral palette. It's mostly matte with a shimmery color right in the middle. I'm going to use this as eyeshadow and also as eyeliner because I don't have any Hourglass eyeliners. I just realized that. So I'm going to use this as double duty. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to use this lightest cream color right here. And I'm going to apply it all over my eye with a Sigma... E55 flat shader brush. So this is just going to provide a really good base color, all over color, whatever you want to call it to make sure I have some color on my eyelids. So for my crease color, I'm going to use the color right next to that cream color. This is just kind of like a warm uh, mid-toned brown. So you can see how powdery it is. Actually, I don't know if you can see or not, but 
I like to blow off my brush before I apply it just because they're kind of powdery. So I'm going to put that in my crease with a Sigma Tapered Blending Brush E35 and just provide some definition um, and outline to the crease of my eye. Okay, so after that's all nice and blended, good thing is these blend super easily, so it makes it nice for me. Um, but next I'm going to go into this middle color. It's funny, I'm kind of making my way this way. But I'm going to go into this middle color. This is the only one on this palette that has any sort of like shimmer or sheen in it. There really isn't glitter, it's kind of just like a sheen. But anyways, I'm going to go in with a MAC 217 and just apply this to my crease again but just a little bit more precise, and I'm going to stick to just the outer one third of my crease. That way it adds like definition and depth to my eyes as well. And this brush is a little bit thinner than the Sigma E35, so it makes it a little bit easier to get it more precise. Now these powders are so amazing, they pretty much blend themselves, but if you feel like you need a little bit more blending or if you want to sheer out the color a little bit more, go in with a um, clean blending brush. This is the Sigma E40 and just kind of go over those lines and blend them out if you feel like it, but really it's almost not necessary because these shadows are so like finely milled and they blend so well as you're putting them on. Okay, so for top eyeliner, I'm going to go to this darkest brown color right here and a Sephora Pro Flat Liner Brush number 25 and apply this to my upper lash line as an eyeliner. I've never done this before, so I hope it comes out okay. <laughs> we'll see. So that came out pretty darn good too. If I must say so myself, this brush must be like a magic brush, I don't know. Or the eyeshadows are just that great, I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of both. So that is the end of the eyeshadow slash eyeliner. Um, now let's move on to eyelashes. So this is a, a little baby sample of the, what is this called, a Firm Nior Full Spectrum Mascara. I've never tried this before, so, and it's in the color Onyx, which I think is just black, yeah. I've never tried this before, but the wand looks really cool. So it's very skinny, and it has like slightly hourglass shaped bristles. Haha, <laughs> hourglass shaped bristles, and it's hourglass product. That's kind of funny. Um, so I have no idea how this formula works, but I am going to go in and put two coats on my upper lashes and my lower lashes. Okay, now let's bronze up this super pale face with some bronzer. Uh, so this is their uh, ambient lighting bronzer in the color Luminous Bronze Light. This is the lighter version of it. They have a darker one. I just put up a first impressions of this bronzer because this is the newest Hourglass product and I love it. I love it so, so much. So I just go in with a big fluffy brush. This is the Marc Jacobs The Bronze Brush. And I put it in the hollows of my cheeks like that. And then I'm going to put it on my hairline up here just to kind of even it out a little bit. This is, it is a darker bronzer that I'm used to. Uh, it has a little bit of like an orangish undertone. So it's easy to kind of go overboard if you have a heavy hand like I do. So just be a little bit careful. But other than that, it's a really pretty bronzer. All right, next I'm gonna go in with blush. So the great thing about Hourglass blushes and bronzers actually, is they are infused or like swirled with the ambient lighting powders that I spoke about at the beginning of the video. So this has like, you know, the light altering powder shades are mixed and infused in with the blush colors and the bronzer colors, so they are just beautiful. I think it's a toss up between the eyebrow pencil and the blushes. Probably the blushes are my most favorite Hourglass product and these blushes are one of my top blushes ever. Um, so I love them a lot. This is the palette. So they have a palette with the powders and a palette with the blushes. Um, and this has three different colors in it. So it has Luminous Flush, um, Incandescent Electra, and Mood Exposure. My favorite is Mood Exposure. It's a little bit like of a darky plum darker plum color. I think I'm going to mix them together. So I think I'm going to do mood exposure more towards the back of my cheek and then I'm going to do incandescent electra on my cheekbones. 
or my apples in my cheek. <laughs> so I'm going to apply that with a Sigma Large Angle Contour F40 brush. So you really do not need a whole lot of these. However, it is hard to go overboard with them because uh, they have that ambient lighting powder mixed in with them. So they're light, they're light colored blushes. So it's hard to go overboard with them. So feel free to layer on the colors. <laughs> All right, last step is going to be lips. So this is the Hourglass. Extreme Sheen Lip Gloss in the color Ballet. These lip glosses are super pigmented and they're not sticky. They're thick but not sticky and I love them. This is the only one that I have and I think I want to go back and get more. Alright, so there we are. There's the finished look, the finished makeup look. Never mind my hair. I didn't do it today. I didn't wash it today, so it's in a messy bun. But my makeup, oh, I love it. I love it so much. I just love Hourglass products. I love them so much. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your favorite Hourglass product is. Um, I've never tried their eyeliners before, so let me know if you like those because I might check those out. And um, I don't know if they have an eyeshadow primer or not or concealers, but I'd also like to try those. So if you've tried those, let me know. And also let me know what your favorite Hourglass product is so I can check it out. And that is all for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.